now. It has been forever since I have put an earring in my second pair's. Ow! Hi everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I am going to be sharing with you my September favorites. I'm really excited to do this and comment below if you are someone who has been here since the beginning of my channel um, because I used to do favorites videos all the time and I have this sense of nostalgia especially and you will see it later on when I show you a couple of my favorites here because this is what I really loved to do back in the day and it's been a long time since I have sat down and shared my favorites with you and I'm really excited to do it today. So these things that I'm going to show you are from September and a little bit before September um, because it has been such a long time since I've done a favorites video. This is also like current favorites as well as things that I started using in September because I just kind of want to get caught up and share with you the things that I am loving. So my favorites consist of beauty and lifestyle stuff and some mommy and baby stuff. I know I have kind of a split audience here. A lot of people are here for like more of the lifestyle sort of stuff and a lot of people are here for the baby stuff. So this is where the two groups that watch my videos can collide because this is kind of going to go over it all. So let's start at the beginning of my day, which is usually a shower. The Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. That is a long title. It has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. I am postpartum right now, five months postpartum, and right around four months postpartum, I was noticing that my hair was starting to fall out, so I'm dealing with postpartum hair loss. And put that together with the summer heat, my hair is just dry and brittle, breaking off. I'm always throwing my hair in a braid or up in a messy bun, and I feel like I've got a lot of breakage and damage in my hair, even though I don't use a lot of heat and my hair is not color treated. And I realized that I was using a clarifying shampoo. And um, using that too often can really strip your hair and that's not a good idea as a all the time sort of thing. It's good every once in a while and I still use my Acure Clarifying Lemongrass Shampoo, which I really love. I have seen such a difference when using this shampoo, specifically because I had been using this conditioner with my Clarifying Shampoo. It's by the same title, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. So I use this shampoo for everything. I really like my shower supply, the things in my shower to be so minimal and I kind of go a little crazy by weeding out the things in my shower. I like a one-stop shop. This actually has become my shampoo, my face wash, and my body wash. And it works great for all three of those things. Because this has so much oil in it, um, even though it does rinse out really well out of my hair and I don't feel like it's heavy and sticky and oily, the oil content in this actually, I believe, removes my makeup very well. I use this as a face wash and it does a really good job of removing my makeup and also nourishing my skin. I know that sounds kind of funny, but there's nothing in here that is comedogenic. Bonus tip, and I know I'm not the only one who does this, I actually use this conditioner as shave cream for my legs when I'm shaving in the shower. It works really good. There have been a couple of skincare items that I have sworn by in the last few months. This is the Nip and Fab Exfoliate. This is the Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. Now, I really try to go the natural route with things. These have worked really, really well, and I'm actually on the lookout for a glycolic uh, sort of face toner that does not have fragrance in it to eliminate any fragrance in my life but man you guys these things you can see I only have like two or three left shaking around in there and this is the third jar of these that I've purchased it is really good at removing makeup it really just refreshes my skin and just resurfaces everything but not in a really harsh way like a scrub or a very harsh toner or something like that I've been loving these nip and fab little glycolic fix daily cleansing pads and I highly recommend them and um, and then so this is the first botany cosmeceuticals 100% natural and pure rosehip oil it says therapeutic grade but you can always put that on any oil so I don't know really if that 
makes much of a difference or not. Rosehip oil contains a really high amount of fatty acid and that helps plump up your skin keep it hydrated, make it produce its own collagen so it will repair itself. And um, I feel like this has helped me sort of uh, start to repair the acne scarring and um, puckering that I have in this area. I really love this moisturizer. It's wonderful under the eyes. I put it on my elbows sometimes just to soften it up. I put it on my legs after I've gotten out of the shower and done shaving. I rubbed this on my belly when I was pregnant the entire time and I didn't get stretch marks. So um, this is definitely just an all-in-one bottle of amazing good oiliness. I have a couple of things in the makeup category. So first of all, you've seen this everywhere. This is completely old news. And actually, I think I talked about this mascara in my uh, minimal makeup video. If you guys want to see that video, I'll have it linked in the cards as well as the description box. But this is the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And I have had a love affair with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara forever and a day. And I don't think I will ever go back to it. And I'm shocked that I'm actually saying that and not to be too, too dramatic or like beauty guru about it, but that was seriously my holy grail mascara. And for 25 bucks a tube, and yes, sometimes it goes on a great deal or whatever, it is totally being beat by this L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I love this mascara. I will insert a uh, video of me applying it right before I filmed today and you can totally tell the difference it makes from the eye that you see here without mascara on it and then when I put the mascara on this side it's just crazy the difference in length and volume and it's very fluttery and it doesn't make my lashes fall down after it's been applied it's easily buildable it doesn't flake and give me fallout on my cheeks and I've got my kids sitting on my lap giving me kisses I you know rub it up against my face and uh, so I need a mascara that really holds up to that and this totally does okay so this next thing is really what's making me nostalgic here uh, no Natalie favorites video would be complete without showing a current obsession with the latest shade of the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip color. But there's something unique about these because this is in the metallic matte line. My friend Cassidy, back when I visited her in Colorado, um, we went to Ulta together and this is the first time that I saw these. They had just been released and so I picked up this shade. This is HD Glam which is gorgeous. It's this more on the cool toned side, berry, kind of a mauve color. And I love the glam color so much that I went and got the HD Shine. And this is more of a, has a touch of like terracotta in it. And I think it's just a really good play on the everyday burgundy berry lip that everyone does during the fall time and it kind of mixes it up in a more of an interesting way. This actually reminds me a lot of the new KL polish the, uh, the Cornelius one that's red. I don't know if you guys follow Kathleen Lights at all, but she has her own nail polish line, which I'm obsessed with, which don't look at my nails right now because they are totally just shameful. Have you guys ever seen The Bishop's Wife? It's a Christmas movie. Um, they go and see this old eccentric guy's little Christmas tree and they say, oh, nice Christmas tree. And he says, it's disgraceful. That's how I feel about my nails right now. Any other fellow black and white movie lovers out there, I grew up on those movies. I do not want to use the little pads here to clean off the swatches on my hand. So, uh, the inside of Weston sweatpants it is. So you guys may have seen my thread up haul. It actually went up on my channel yesterday um, and it was filmed a while ago. Um, so I've had a chance to wear some of the items from that haul and the shirt I'm wearing today has made it into my favorites because I love the way it fits and I love how versatile it is. This is a beautiful dusty blush toned old navy shirt. It has the chiffon panel in the front and kind of a tunic style neckline. Um, but then it has this really light jersey material all around the back and it's lower in the back than in the front. It has this drop shoulder sort of cut and I just think it's 
a nice, interesting version of just an everyday sort of t-shirt. You guys know that. I am on the last little bit of putting together my fall capsule wardrobe and this is definitely going into it. Another clothing item that is definitely going into my capsule wardrobe and a pair of shoes I have been absolutely living in are these Truffle Collection Chelsea boots. Aren't these gorgeous? These are vegan leather Chelsea boots. I believe these are from Zara. I got them off of the Mercari app, which um, I'm not sponsored by them and I'm not actually an affiliate. They don't know about me, but I always leave the code that's like a referral code in the description box of my videos in case you guys are curious right now there's actually a promo going on where if you sign up using my code you get ten dollars and i get two if you're watching this video far in the future and that deal is not going on the everyday deal is that you get two bucks and i get two bucks um so if this video is outdated by the time you're watching it then um, if you want a couple of bucks on the mercari app go check out the info that I have in the description box. I love that app. Um, and that's where I got these Chelsea boots. These are so comfy. They are so, again, versatile. And I really love how they look with a bunch of different outfits. I am someone who has really short legs, not just the fact that I am a short person, but my legs in proportion to the rest of my body are super short. If you just went off of my torso, I probably should be like 5'6 if my legs were in proportion to my torso, but I'm only 5 foot. 5 foot nothing, people. And so having short boots really helps proportion out my legs. I really cannot wear long boots. It cuts my legs in such a weird, awkward looking way. And so I dig short boots and these black Chelsea boots, I have Oh my goodness, I've been wearing these so, so much. A couple of things I've been loving. First of all, let's start off with the really crunchy thing that I want to not hold anymore because it's going to bug me while I am editing and hearing the crunching sound. You hear that microphone? Amazon recently came out with their own line of some baby care products and they are extremely affordable. And I'm always skeptical when something like that is really affordable because in my experience in the past, it hasn't been as good of quality as I would like, but these have blown me away. So I never do any scented baby care items ever. Um, so I picked the unscented variety of these Amazon baby wipes. They're really nice and strong and sturdy. Um, but I feel like sometimes when wipes are really sturdy, they're really dry and these are not. These are nice and wet and moist. Sorry to use the word moist, but they are also really strong at the same time. And I use these to clean up after my five month old. I use these to clean up after my three year old twins. These take care of every job that they need to. And last but not least, the saving grace of nighttime has been this micro fleece halo sleep sack. First of all, it's adorable. I love the black and white. I am someone who loves monochromatic things. Um, little black plus marks on a white background. Super, super cozy. And um, it has a zipper, which I love. It zips up from the bottom. So if I need to change baby's diaper in the middle of the night and I don't want to undress her, I can just open this from the bottom and do what I need to do. As the temperature started to get cooler in the month of September, I was noticing that Haley was waking up more often during the night. My kids, now I realize all three of them, love a nice, warm, cozy room. Not too warm. I know that there's a limit and I really, I do monitor that. Um, but one way of keeping them nice and cozy is by giving them a blanket, but blankets aren't safe for babies. And so a wearable blanket, and this one is backed by the American Association of Pediatrics. It has a little back is best reminder here on the front to remind you to put your baby down to sleep on their back, even though Haley rolls over to her belly much of the time. She seems really cozy in this. She sleeps really well and so do I. Alrighty everyone, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, would you please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you have been loving in the month of September. I hope to see you back on my channel soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.